Hey, welcome to the Crazy Hat Chemist. So here we go today. Um, equilibrium and reaction rates still continuing on there. Today we're going to do the 17th video. So, bam! The common ion effect. So that's what we're talking about today. So, a 0 0.010 molar silver nitrate is added to a saturated silver chloride solution. Determine the chloride ion concentration in moles per liter. So the first thing that we really need to do is we need to know our solubility rules. The other thing we need to do is we need to know our table of KSP values. And both of those are previous lectures that I have discussed already before. Check them out. Okay? So we're going to write out the equation for silver nitrate. So silver is a 1 plus. Nitrate is NO3 minus 1. You're going to take the bowl by the horn, flip, bring it down, and then you're going to write the equation for silver nitrate. Now that you're going to figure out what is silver nitrate, that's what you need your solubility rules for. So you're going to figure out what silver nitrate is in terms of is it a solid or is it an aqueous solution. And then you should ask yourself, hmm, anything with a nitrate is aqueous no matter what. So therefore, silver nitrate is actually a salt, and it will dissociate 100%. So therefore, you're going to write out the products of this, which is a cation and an anion, and that is a silver ion and a nitrate ion. So here's the equation. If you didn't follow that along, bam, there it is. So HeNO3, and that is aqueous, and notice there's a unidirectional arrow right here, and that is a silver ion and a nitrate ion, and everything is aqueous. This is balanced for charge and for mass. Okay, and it says in the problem that you have a 0 0.010 molar solution of silver nitrate. So since this is a salt, it dissociates 100%, then I can come up with what are the concentrations for both of the products based on their mole ratio. And this is a very simple problem. It's a one-to-one -one mole ratio. So one stoichiometric coefficient in front of the silver, uh, silver nitrate. And so how many uh, nitrates do you have? One. So therefore, you have a concentration of 0 0.010 molar nitrate ion concentration. Again, you're going to do the same thing with the silver ion, and that is silver nitrate and silver ion are also in a 1 to 1 mole ratio. So now we know the silver ion concentration. All right, so the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to take a look at saturated silver chloride. So silver chloride is... Now, you're going to look at your solubility rules for this here again. And chlorides, bromides, and iodides are soluble or, except for silver, plumbus, and mercurus. And there's one of them that makes it an insoluble precipitate. That is, silver chloride is an insoluble precipitate. And then, we're going to write the equation for this one. And this one is very different from the salt that we had there before. You should see the double arrows right there let you know that this is an equilibrium reaction. The silver chloride is solid, and you get two aqueous things, and that is the silver ion and the chloride ion. Notice, notice on those products that you have a cation, you have an anion, both the products are aqueous. Now what we're going to do is that we're going to figure out, oh, what is this? It's an insoluble precipitate, so I'm going to write a K for this. And this is a KSP because it's an insoluble precipitate. And you're going to write the K expression for silver chloride in that equation. So it's products over reactants with the stoichiometric coefficients as exponents. And what are not included in any K expression, that is a solid or liquid, are not included the aqueous R. So therefore, this does not have a denominator. And here is our KSP expression right there. So it has stoichiometric coefficients of 1. So it's really, really simple. Now what I want you to do is we had a table of, sol of solubility product constants that I had before. You're going to find that table of solubility product constants, look it up online, find it in your textbook, whatever it is, and you're going to find the value of the KSP for silver chloride. So go pause the video, find that value for silver chloride. <clears throat> look at one of the previous videos if you need to. So I'm going to substitute in the value of KSP for the KSP. And that's what I have right there. So the value of the KSP is 1.8 times 10 to the negative 10. Where did I come up with the 1.8 times 10 negative 10? That was from my KSP, my solubility product constant table at 25 degrees Celsius. It's assumed at 25 degrees Celsius on all these problems. Now... It says, determine the chloride ion concentration in moles per liter. So, I need 
to have solved for the silver ion. So do I have the silver ion concentration? You betcha. It's right there from that salt. So I'm going to plug that value right in there for the silver, and I have the KSP. I'm going to solve for the chloride ion concentration. So relatively simple problem. I've plugged in the silver ion concentration. Now I'm going to divide both sides by the 0 0.010 molar, and then my chloride ion concentration is now going to equal right here, beam, and bam. That is, chloride ion is 1.8 times 10 to the negative 8, and that is molar. Hopefully that makes sense for you. Okay? No ducking around here. Hey, if you like that video, give me a thumbs up.